Since you shut the f see, is infringing on my fucking area, yeah? House rules state there's an imaginary line straight down the middle and got his bullshit rolling back here. And for the I'm not over your side, I'm about to fucking line. Just I'm on the line, I'm on the line, I'm over it. I've got 11 arrows in here. 11 hours. Let's go. 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 let us so we're in the right place, and in the right direction. I've got 127 miles to go. Excuse me. I should be chewing, but I've got hardball sweets. I'd like to say a big thank you to Dion, designated driver. Literally taking over the team. I'd like to say thank you to Susie. She's got some beautiful sweets. Hard-boiled, like, lemony snippet ones. Cyanide death sweets. Heart fish and boilies, rank. But... <laughs> But they make up for it, so I ain't too fast. Thanks, Susan. Hi, guys. For those of you who are planning on doing a three-piece challenge and wanted to stay in Arbor, you're going to have to get to it via the boat. It's maybe two, three hundred yards. That's eight pound twenty. Bargain. <laughs> in any language. So we know Scots there. <laughs> so Carlos just given the guy like uh, maybe a, what is it, ten English pounds, and he's given him that. As far as I'm concerned, that's monopoly money. It's certainly been doing the rounds because it's as thin as tracing paper or tissue even, and uh, it doesn't look very legit. If the guy just handed me that personally, I'd be straight back out of the car, putting it back in his pocket, and taking that legitimate five pound note. Are you, are, are you for real? You're, you're happy with that, are you? He's getting it back tomorrow. <laughs> he's getting it back. He's damn straight, he's getting it back. And all the ones the car collects from the hotel to light and change, he's getting them as well. <laughs> look, how, look how fake it looks. Look, there's nothing to it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I've, like, there's literally thicker Rizzlers out there. That is a, that's a joke. Yeah, there's your, there's your Monopoly money. We'll play with that tonight. That's taken about 20 years off you, mate. It's added to some pangs to my face, apparently. <laughs> 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 You're not funny at the moment. Okay guys, so we just woke up and we're gonna be off on this ferry. We're gonna go and meet Rastamol and Kerry Ann and then we're gonna start the hike. So these are the uh, the budding posse ready to go. Why have you come out that door? Right. In honour of returning to my homeland, I'm seriously considering doing this climb in my native kilt, the Kilpatrick kilt with the sparrow. I'm on the fence with it. I'm on the fence. Right. I'm pretty sure if my missing catches with the me in a kilt should throw the towel in. Yet to be discussed. Watch this space. Thanks for that. Can I get on with my video now? What up, guys? What are you doing? Off 
operation try and get the keys out of the car because the car locks itself unfortunately just come up through the clouds now <laughs> it looks like we've got 25 se minute separation from uh, Rasta and Kerry Am and I don't know about Marcus and Shane, they're probably up there. If not, they're going to be very close. Oh yeah, there's a hair dryer here. That's going to be useful for me and Carla. Yeah. When <laughs> it comes to that audio equipment. Look, dudes, we're going to have to talk about this. I'm not sure whether you're aware, but Carlo snores like a f***ing wildebeest. Oh, right, it is horrific. Oh, right. no, I'm alright because I'm right. deaf in one ear so I can see from my good ear, but for you, I uh, I'm, I'm advice, pretty, pretty cotton wool buds or um, lots of alcohol oh, or something. Oh, I'll just my phone on charge. Alcohol, charge alcohol, alcohol sounds better. 